What's up, pioneers? This is Dane here with Drug Daily Investor, the place where we talk about investing not only in stocks but in yourself. Look, guys, I want to talk to you guys about how much I'm down in this market correction, and I want to show you this because I want you guys to stay motivated and make sure you guys stay and stick to your trading plan. And the reason why, and I'm gonna show you example, and I'm gonna show you guys an example of sticking to your trading plan. Now, I got rid of a play today, and you will see by looking at my buying power, and I have a plan that I'm gonna actually do with this buying power during this correction. And look, I want you guys to make sure you stay motivated during this time. It is very hard, trust me. I, I trust me. I know it's hard. It is very hard. And I want to show you guys the amount of money that I am down. Like I said, I'm skipping the intro and everything for this video because I want to get straight into it. Now look, as you see, guys, I am down for the past month, guys. I'm down three thousand seven hundred and eighty-one dollars. $3,781. I'm down 40% in my account right now. 40%. You know, and this is why, and this is the importance of, and this is the importance of you guys making sure you guys diversify. Now, the reason why I'm down this much is because, like I told you guys, I'm, you know, I switched this account to be more so of a swing trade account. So it's fine. I know the risk behind swing trading. But for you, for you, but for you new investors, uh, but for you new investors or the ones that's looking to invest long term, Make sure you guys diversify your portfolio. Diversifying your portfolio during these times will also help. You'll be down, but if you put all your eggs in one basket, trust me, that portfolio, your portfolio is gonna fall with that play. So I want you guys to make sure you diversify your portfolio. And if you swing trade, understand the risk that comes with swing trading. If you throw a lot of money into one stock and that stock crashes or goes down, your portfolio will go down with it. So you need to understand the risk. I understood the risk behind it. I know the risk. Like I said, I trade Forex as well, so I understand, you know, doing the stop losses and, and all that. I understand the risk. You know, you have to have a risk to reward ratio. And, you know, today I felt like it was a time for me to go ahead and cut my ties with BioLace. I said I wanted to uh, hold BioLace to March, but there's a lot of things changing. The, the business hasn't changed. The fundamentals of the business hasn't changed at all. But, you know, I think this month of March, we're going to see a, you know, this, we're going to see a correction for a while, probably for another week. I actually made. I actually talked about in my uh, video the other day about the futures are green. I said the futures are. I said the futures are green, but wait. You know, I told you guys. I knew the market was going to continue. To, I knew the market was going to continue to pull back this week. I just had a feeling. I, I knew it. And look, and it's falling. It's the Nasdaq is closing, but it's closing under its uh, lows. The Dow is dropping. The S and P is dropping. You know, it all has everything to do with these bun yields. Bun yields are rising. And you know, I want you guys to just make sure you guys stay motivated. I'm down three thousand seven hundred and eighty-one dollars, and I and the reason I'm actually excited about this is because I'm you know, like I said I'm this is and like I said this right here is a swing trade account for me right now. Um, I'm actually probably going to open up a Fidelity, and my Fidelity account is going to be for my long, my probably my longer term investing. I want to use this Robinhood account, you know, for my my fun, my for fun, my leisure trades, but also to you know to also talk to you guys about. You know, good trades that's you know coming up like APXT, Tattoo Shell, uh, G Knob. Um, now I got Teslas that up still. I mean, we got if we go to we go click on Apple. I mean, look at Apple. Apple is in an absolute steal right now. This is a great long term play. We know Apple is a, Apple is a big dog. It's a juggernaut in the game. You know, you cannot go wrong uh, investing in Apple. You know, Tesla is getting beat down right now. Uh, you know, we just have a, a lot. A lot of companies, a lot of solid companies getting beat down right now. You know, you got Ensego. Ensego right here is at nine dollars and ten cent. That is just mind blowing. And I came across this company right here the other day, Big Five Sporting Goods. This one right here is a diamond in the rough. And I came across this one, and I was like, man, they, they're profitable. They continue to kill earnings. They actually just raised their dividend. Their dividend was at point sixty five yield. Now the dividend is at a point. Uh, now the dividend is at a 1.70. Uh, that's after they just smashed through their earnings. You know this right here is a diamond in the rough. So I want you guys, if you do, if you do want to get into like a sporting goods play, that's kind of cheap. Keep your eyes on Big Five Sporting Goods because this one right here is a diamond in the rough. I'm telling you guys. But you know, I just want you guys to really look. You know, for the for the week, I'm down one thousand dollars. I'm down fifteen percent. The past month, I'm down three thousand seven hundred eighty-one dollars. That's negative forty percent, and like I told you guys, I understand the risk with this portfolio. It's a swing trade portfolio for me. 
So it, you know, it's very high risk, but it has a lot of, a, but it has a big high reward as well. So you got to understand the risk to reward when it comes to you know trading. Um, so that is something that is very important with your trading plan. You, that's why I say stick to your trading plan. Now, like I said, this is the time where I want you guys to be sure if you have cash on hand to buy the dips. And that is why I went ahead and sold BioLace and got rid of it. Yes, it was a loss, but it's a strategic loss for me because guess what? At the end of the year, I want to write off on my taxes. So it's fine. I don't even care. I'm going to make the money that I sold off on BioLace. I'm going to make it back th 30 times. So I'm not worried about that, you know. But it was time for me to go ahead and cut my loss with it. I said March was going to be my last month holding BioLace. And, you know, with it just getting beat down so much, yes, it's going to recover. It's fully, it's going to recover fully, yes. Um, but, you know, just some things changed up for me, and I just didn't feel comfortable holding it no more. Um, and trust me, I sold it. I Actually, I've been down, you know, more. I was down more and buy a lace before and I didn't sell and I didn't sell it. I actually held on to it. I actually showed you that in a previous video. Um, you know, I didn't panic sell buy a lace. I actually I sold buy a lace because I had a plan for the money that I wanted to use that was within buy a lace. And also my position was just too big right now with uh with how the market is acting. So I just need to go ahead and just cut my ties with it and you know trim the whole position because now what I'm about to do is as you guys see, you know, I N U V this right here is going to for sure turn into a long-term hold for me because they have so much potential. I actually, I absolutely love what this company is doing. IDEX is definitely another speculative play. It's a hot stock. So I'm going to continue to average down on this one. Same thing with Zomatica. Z-O-M, it's another hot stock. I want to, I'm going to continue to average down in this one as well. You see, I got 380 shares in Zomatica, 400 in IDEX, and I got 735 in INUV. Now with this $2,500 right here, I'm going to basically keep putting money into these probably every day. Cause right now you do not want to just throw all your money into a stock because you don't, we do not know when this is going to end. So the best thing right now is for us to average down, make sure we dollar cost average our way in. And that means, you know, probably every day I'm going to probably throw $75 in ZUM, uh, $75 in IDEX, $75 uh, in IN and Nuvo. Now, and then, you know, come Monday, I'm going to throw another 75 in Zoom, 75 in IDX, 75 in uh, Anuvo. So basically, you know, I have a plan on what I'm about to do with this money because these are going to be my three plays that's going to carry me to the promised land when the market starts to uh, kind of correct itself and, you know, go back towards the upside. And you guys see I have a call with APXT, a $10 strike price call. A $10 strike price call is set to April 16th. Uh, the cost of it was three hundred and seven dollars. My market value is three hundred uh, two hundred and twelve dollars right now. I am down a total of negative thirty percent. But you know, I'm not worried about this. I have it all the way out to April sixteenth. I really, I already know this one's going to rebound, so I'm not really too much worried about this one. But this right here is an in the money call. I did an in the money call with APXT um, for ten dollars. So look, I just wanted to go over this with you guys. You know, I want you guys to make sure you have a trading plan going forward having a trading plan in this especially in this time is very important it's very crucial and i want you guys to make sure you have one and stick to it do not divert do not uh you know diverge away from it unless you have something different that is actually a good plan you know so i just wanted to make this i want so i just wanted to make this video for you guys you know stay encouraged stay motivated especially in these times especially you new investors this is the perfect time that you guys have found the market at the most perfect time that you can probably find a market. You, there's so many companies that's so cheap right now. It is ridiculous. We got a lot of juggernauts. We got you know Square, Peloton. Uh, I mean, it's just a lot of big dogs. Nike, another big dog. Starbucks, another big dog. I mean, it's it's a lot of great companies that's getting beat down right now. Oh, uh, you know, you got Tattoo Shelf, Plug Power, uh, Fuel Cell, and it's just it's, it's so many plays that's getting beat down right now. Neo. But you know, I'm gonna just, I'm a, it's, I can name, you know, a hundred of them right now. But you know, I want you guys to make sure you stay motivated, um, stay encouraged, and do not panic sell. Do not panic sell. Because look, if you panic sell, you're not really, I mean, you'll kind of learn a lesson from panic selling, but that is not what we want to do. We know the market is going to rebound. So we just have to have a strong stomach, a strong tolerance for, you know, watching our money, uh, watching our money just fall. But look, it's only a paper loss right now. It's not a, it's not an actual for sure loss until you actually sell. Once you sell it, the money is gone. You actually lost. But right now, we're just at a paper loss. So this right here, this loss of 
$3,781. This right here is a paper loss. I'm, I actually have not lost this money because look, when the market rebounds, I'm gonna get all this back. I'm not worried about being down $3,700 right now because I know I'm gonna get that back plus on. So, you know, guys, just stay, stay encouraged, stay motivated. And look, this is a very important thing for us to do by staying persistent. This is why I talk about being persistent. You know, just stay persistent. You know, stay consistent. Is it's another thing. That's another one I always talk about. I want us to stay consistent when it comes to you know certain things. And I promise you, that is a word for myself as well for me to be able to stay consistent. Um, you know, staying consistent is very important. It's very key to your success. Very important. Very important. So make sure you guys stay consistent. Be persistent, and most importantly, make sure you guys stay up while we on the come up and never look down. And until the next video, pioneers, I'm out.